Take two. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for the what person that was uh, send me that. Yeah, now it's working. Amen. We forgot to plug the, vo the volume thing on. <laughs> amen. I can hear it now. God bless you, <laughs> everybody. Amen. Is okay. What's wrong? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just checking. God bless everybody. This again, this is Pastor Benny here, Love Wings Ministry Studios, keeping my covenant with you. Amen. At the year at WM, WMS, <laughs> Love Wings Ministry Studios. God is so good. Amen. First thing I want to say, I thank God for this opportunity to be here tonight again to share with you, my brothers and sisters, as I keep my covenant with you and uh, had a great day today. Amen. It's raining out. Amen. Uh, maybe rainy day and one of those days that want to make you sleep. Amen. But I'm here. Amen. I'm here to share the truth, nothing but the truth in spirit and in truth. And keeping my covenant with you, my sister, and my brother out there. Amen. But before I get started, I just want to pray real quick. Father, I thank you for this opportunity, Lord, that I could come into this place, this studio right now, Father, to share the truth, Father, with my sisters and brothers out there, my God, Lord, and letting them know that all things are possible in you, Lord, and giving you thanks for keeping us and sustaining us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen, amen, and amen. I had a great time today. I had an opportunity, amen, to, uh, I don't know if he's watching me, he might be driving, amen, Nash, um, uh, that I've just met, a young man, and he was uh, just here, and uh, we had a good time of fellowship. We got to pray together, and that's what I'm talking about is, you know what, uh, everyone we meet, that's like I'm always saying, that's our ministry. Amen. God put people in your life and we're to intercede and pray for them and to encourage them with the word of God. And also my brothers and sisters out in West Palm. Amen. Mi hermanos y mi hermanas allá en West Palm. I give a shout out. Amen. To you brothers and sisters out there and all of those here in the Florida area, amen, and all over, amen, and those in New York, God bless you, amen. First thing I want to start is I'm, I always like to read this, amen, at our, our Sunday service, and if you're out there, or you listen to this video now, listen to it later, just repeat what I've said. Number one is I am blessed because God helps me to understand what he wants me to do, hallelujah, and number two, I am blessed because God makes me wise about what? Spiritual things. Amen. And number three, I am blessed because my heart desire is to please and to honor the Lord. And number four, I am blessed because God gives me, amen, an opportunity to bless others. Amen. And number five, our last one. I am blessed because I am learning. Listen, I am learning to know God better and better. Amen. And that's what God wants. Amen. I'm waiting for some of you to come on. Amen. But I'm here and I'm going to continue. I came on a few minutes, I mean two or three minutes earlier. Amen. And before six to just share the love of God with you, my sister and brother out there. Amen. And again, those that are out there, please acknowledge that you're watching by sending either a, a little a comma there, a comment, amen, even if it's an amen or whatever, amen, that you want to put on there, amen, and I sure appreciate that, amen. But again, I got to meet Brother Nash a little while ago, a young man. I got to be able to pray with him and to encourage him and to even uh, share some songs with him, amen, and we were just thanking the Lord uh, for being in our lives and that's what it's all about amen at the end of the day 
That's what it's about, encouraging and building one another up. And for me and my house, amen, and us here, we're going to encourage and to build you up, my sister and brother. Y para todos mis hermanos allá afuera, amen, en el nombre de Jesús vengo. Alabale, Señor, y también, uh, 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 how you say encourage that? Encourage. Uh, <laughs> encourage, okay. <laughs> Encourage, see tú, mi hermana y mi hermano. <laughs> ¿Con qué? Por el poder del Espíritu Santo que está dentro de nosotros. Hallelujah. Gloria to God. Again, I come to encourage and to build up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my brothers and sisters. And I want to talk about today, I'm going to start with the word in Romans chapter 12, verses 9. And 11 says, but love must be sincere. Hate what, is, hate what is evil. Cling on to what is good. Cling on to what is good and be devoted to one another in love. Amen. Honoring one another above yourself. Amen. Never be lacking in what? In zeal, but keeping your spiritual favor serving the lord amen serving the lord and that's what i'm talking about today serving the lord how do we serve the lord by not only reading the word but by living the word and again what it says cling on to what is good amen and be devoted to one another amen In brotherly and sisterly love. Amen. In other words, simply terms, sharing the love of God. Amen. And you know, that's something that I love sharing and, and uh, with all of you, those that know me. Amen. You know, there's nothing like better than to encourage someone. Because uh, remember, there was a time in my life that a lot of individuals encouraged me and has Help me to be the person that I am through the love of Christ in their heart and their relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And knowing that our Father is Abba Father, amen, and, been, and has encouraged me. So all my sisters and brothers out there, especially full gospel tabernacle, amen, and far out, amen. But again, I want to say this verse one more time that is in Romans 12, verses 9 and 11. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling on to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love and honor one another above yourself. Never lacking in zeal, but keeping your spiritual favor. What? Serving the Lord. And how we serve in the Lord? By encouraging again and loving people. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. I thank God that I got to meet some Uh, strong women of God and strong men of God like uh, Joanne and uh, 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 Jack and, and uh, Jose Hernandez and his wife, amen. Ma what is it again? Mariel. Mariel. Amen, mi hermana. Mariel? Marilis. Mariel. Amen. I'm all confused here. <laughs> She knows what I'm talking about. Amen. And God is good. Amen. But remember that we are called, especially in that verse says that to keep what? Simply what? The unity of what? The spirit. The unity of the spirit. Because I'm telling you, my sister and brother, we're all doing the same thing. Because you're my brother and sister. We're repeating what the word says and, and living our lives according to the word to share the truth uh, uh, that God has given us through his word to each other. Amen. And that's what it's about. You know, I know people searching for all these things, and I always say that because we, what we need to be is just doing the Word of God. Amen. Putting on, remembering the helmet of salvation, putting on the full armor of God, uh, the helmet of salvation that we were saved. Amen. And then using the Word to battle the negative things that are happening around the world today. Amen. Oh, Lord. I feel like sneezing. <laughs> But I want to say this again. What is that verse saying? That we are called upon in that verse to keep the unity of the spirit. In other words, simply we are to work hard, uh, hard to ensure, listen to this, to ensure that the unity of the spirit of God 
wants to what? Produce what? In us. In, in, in other words, within us. Amen. Which is what? The church. I keep saying this because it's unbroken. And how are we going to do this? Is by maintaining what? A bond of peace and a bond referring to what? Which is bind. Amen. Something together. We say that let us bind these things together in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because I tell you, my brothers and sisters, we all doing the same thing. And God wants us to be an example to the world. How would they know that we are the children of God, the way we live, the things that we do? I'm very simple. You know that, guys, that I talk about this stuff because it's so important. I keep reminding you as I remind myself every day that the things that we say, the things that we do, it affects those around us. So let us make sure that we're in line with God's word and doing what God said to do to what? Simply encourage other, prefer people before yourself. You know what? Don't think of yourself more highly, but humble yourself. That's what we're to do in simple words. We may be called, uh, we're to be like, uh, you know, uh, uh, that brings peace. Uh, simply what? referring to the harmony between the individuals that we meet, amen, in our lives. And sharing that, amen, and doing it where? Uh, with, from within our hearts that we will walk in love. Listen to this. That we will walk in love towards one another. Amen. As we begin to, ex uh, to express ourselves to see that the Spirit is properly working in us. Amen. Because you and I are the church of God. We are the representative. We are here for, from generation to generation to keep reminding those and watering the seed in their lives. Amen. By what? By the word, but also by our actions. The things that we do, going out, preferring. Yes, it's going to cost you something, but remember, this is what we call. I love giving. I love encouraging. You see, when because that's what the same thing, to me, it falls in the same category. As far as giving something to make someone happy, encouraging someone is the same thing. If you're making them happy and remind them that they're going to, that you love them and that you care about them and being sincere, but not by words only, but by actions, my brothers and sisters. That's why I said, you show me your faith and I show you my work. Together, it works together. Amen. I hope you're getting what I'm saying here. Amen. I'm waiting for some of you to come on, man. Say hello there. Give me a, a, a high five. Amen. I see my brother, Les uh, Peterson. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And come see us. Amen. <laughs> but remember that that's what it's talking about. You see, we can play all these religious things that we do. Amen. But remember, we're doing the religious thing that I want to do is to show the love of God through my life and the things that we do and how we are to build people up, never to tear down, but to build up. Amen. You know, and encourage. So in other words, uh, that they see the spirit that is coming out of our lives, which is what? To encourage and to build up. Amen. And I'm sincere about the things that I do here. You know, uh, 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 John chapter 13, verse 35 says what? And I follow the word and I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. It says, your love for one another will prove, listen to this, will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Is that straight to the point, right, Natasha? That's Amen. straight to the point. Amen. Again, I want to say that and write it down. John chapter 13 verse 35 out of the New Living Translation says, Your love for what? One another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. You know, I was speaking with this young man a little while ago, and he was here, and I was sharing with him. And he said, you know, I felt kind of downcast uh, uh, earlier, and I, I was driving from Vero, and he said he stopped by, and, he, and, he, and uh, I was talking to him, and I said, you know, we're here. Our door is always open, and we encourage everyone and let them know 
that you know what we're all brothers and sisters and uh, and the house of god should be a house of what refuge of uh, a, a restoration of be a, a, a building up never tearing down but sharing the love of god not what you can do you know uh, uh, come with an attitude what the church can do for me but you do you be the church and you do something amen that's what i'm trying to say and as we read in john chapter 30 uh, 13 35 again your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. So that's telling us how important it is, how we're to treat one another. Amen. Sister Peterson, praise the Lord. Amen. That's right, my sister. Amen. She knows what I'm talking about. We will live a blessed life. I'm going to tell you when we do that, we will walk also in unity. We will be what the Lord saved us to be by living proof that Jesus makes a difference, amen, in all those he has touched, amen. All those he has touched, and he has touched my life, and I'm going to share the truth, amen. And I'm here for one reason only, to do that. What God has called us all to do is to share the love of God, the compassion of God, because today, and I keep saying it, and I'm going to continue to say it, how they see Jesus is through you and I. And that verse again, John 13, 35 says it. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. And that is the truth. Amen. Remember that we are saved and we are in this thing together, my brothers and sisters. Amen. I try to go out everywhere and reach to those out there and I extend my hands out because that's what the word is telling us to do. Then the world will know that we are the true disciples of Christ. You see what I'm saying? We got to get out of our, uh, what's that, what can I say, Lord? Uh, out of our routine, so to speak. We live in a, a society that we get closer, even church. We just go to our churches. We do the same thing every Sunday. And not to say that that's important. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to knock that because I, I encourage that. I wish people would be attend church uh, you know, uh, on a daily basis, amen. But a lot of people just go once in a while now. But we want to fill our churches, that's important. But also the church is to go out to the byways, to the highways, and to do new things because God wants to give us new manner, amen. And for me, I want to grow. I, that's why I want to do this, I want to do that, and continue to share the gospel of the Lord, which is the love of God, and to water seeds, not just to the same seeds that I meet every day. <laughs> on Sunday, we want to go out beyond the four walls. That's why I'm on social media. That's why I promote this so much, and that's why we do these programs to encourage everyone out there. Amen. And to step out of our comfort zone and encourage brothers and sisters. Amen. You know, one thing I love doing, going to other churches, encouraging them, and whatever gift that I have, I shared with them. You see, what am I doing by that? Again, your love for one another will prove to the world and the church, amen, because that's what we need today, that we are his disciples by the things that we do, amen. Helping one another, not trying nothing else but to encourage and to share the love of God, amen. You know, uh, I say this because uh, we are servants and, 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 uh, and we are in this together. Like I was saying before, for the glory of God brings what? Unity. You see, when we walk in that love and in that, in that thing, what it, do, it brings unity. When people see, you know, not your church, my church, or this group, or that group, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We're to be unified at all times because we're all sisters and brothers. Let us remember that above all. Amen. And again, I go back to John 13, 35. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples amen and even as this young man would say he doesn't even live out there he lives in Orlando but he happened to be here but I said brother you got a home now here too amen right now so you got a home here right now whenever you're around here we're here for you anyone I meet I said we're always our doors are open to encourage and to build up because the house of God is a place of worship is a place of prayer number one and is a place of restoration and encouragement amen that's what we're to do. And then to train 
In Ephesians 4, it talks about what to train them to go out to preach the gospel, to share, in other words, the love of God. And that's what the church is to do. Amen. The physical church. Amen. Even though we are the spirit of the church. Amen. Remember that, uh, uh, I want to say it one more time, we are saved and we are in this thing together. Amen. For the glory of God being united. It means bringing honor to God and it will draw the Lord's blessings, my brothers and sisters, in this direction when we're doing this. You see, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. A lot of people say, but you know, are you really blessed and highly favored? Because the things that we do, the actions that we do, amen, and the things that we uh, 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 share, amen, uh, defines who God is in our lives, amen. You see, I always say this, and a lot of people can quote the word of God, but we can't just keep quoting the word of God. We got to actually live the word of God to the best of our abilities to share the truth by being truthful. Simple, being truthful. One thing I tell people all the time, please don't tell me something, then you, then you do the opposite of that because I go by your word. Remember, let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Let us take even that little thing with to honor God with that. Let our yea, nay be, I mean, yes be yes and our no be no, period. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember 1 Corinthians 1.10 says, and I appeal to you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with what? One another. Amen. Say that again. I appeal to you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of the, our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no what? Division. I want to say that again. There be what? No division among you, but that you will be perfect perfectly united in the mind amen and through what the spirit amen ephesians 4 3 says make listen to this out of the new living translation ephesians 4 says verse 3 make every effort to keep yourself united what in the spirit binding yourselves together with what peace for what for one another and one for all we all in this together i don't know how else to say that but the truth remember that the things that we say the things that we do it affect those around us amen you know what gets me and that's what the devil's doing he wants to divide us and keep us in separate catacombs so to speak amen you know what i'm saying keep us in there uh, in a catacomb you know that well what is it the worm or the no the the thing with the legs that turns into a butterfly what they call it again uh, i'm trying to remember oh the little thing with all the legs oh lord i forgot well some of you might know <laughs> A caterpillar, amen. And that's what they, I'm just saying that, you know what, uh, they get into a cocoon, then they bust out like a, like a beautiful butterfly, amen. And that's what the devil, I'm just using this as a, an example, trying to keep us in separate cocoons, amen. And But God is saying, no, I want you to break out of that cocoon. I want you to be like a butterfly, free, amen, and fly together, what, in unity, Amen. Flying together in unity because we're doing the same purpose. Amen. You know, I'm just one out here just sharing uh, what God has given me. I know there's a lot of other brothers and sisters out there sharing the truth. Amen. That's right, Caterpillar. Amen. Uh, thank you, my sister. Amen. But I say that because it is so important because we can get caught up in a rut. I don't want to be in a rut. You want to be in a rut now? Not me and my family. We're going to continue to do new things, experimenting more things, and we continue to encourage people, and we're looking for those that want to grow also, and we want to get out of the cocoon. We want to fly like butterflies. Amen. Amen. Because we're under the, the wings of the Lord. Amen. And knowing 
that God said to go out to the byways, to the highway, to use everything that we can to what? To share the love of God, which is the gospel, the truth. But as we're sharing it, we have to live it, my brothers and sisters. Amen. That is the truth. You know, uh, 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 it's funny. We were talking about that before, that the old tradition and how the churches were back in the day when we got saved. Amen. It was like, you know, so much, so much re religiosity. I guess that's a good word I can use. Uh, in other words, so many rules, man-made rules that we couldn't do this, couldn't do that, or all these things. And God called us to do. God called us to be free. God called us to share the truth. God called us to be in all of us in unity, but in one mind and one accord, doing the same thing, sharing the love of God and reaching everyone that we can. And going to the house of the Lord, being established, yes, and learning the word of God, but to be sent out. You see, to send out, to go out and share the gospel and to use every gift that we have. This is why we believe in the fivefold ministry, that every gift that God has given you, my sister and brother, is to be utilized to do what? To further the kingdom of God. How do we further the kingdom of God? In simple words, is being united, amen, same mindset, same heart, helping one another, encouraging one another, and everyone that we meet, watering their seed so they can grow, amen. So what I say by that, we got to have God in us first, and then we can share that with others, amen, and we got to follow the word of God. I'm just simple. The word of God in our lives, in every area of our lives. And our family should, re should reflect that, amen. And our churches should reflect that because we're all brothers and sisters that we can go out. And then the world will know, as John, I'm going to say that verse again, John 13, 35, your love for one another will, provide, uh, will prove, rather, that the world that you are my disciple Simple, right? Your love for one another. And I come to tell you, I love you guys. Amen. I pray for every person I've met. I take it serious. Uh, we intercede as we're going to intercede for Nash now, my brother Nash that I just met, a young man, 24 years old. And I'm going to encourage him and keep him in prayer. And he might be in Orlando. He might be in another church. I'm praying for his church. And wherever he's at, like I told him, man, encourage those in the church. Be an example. Be a doer of the word of God. Amen. But don't get caught up in it. Just go out too, man. Minister. Let's minister to each other and those churches around there and brothers and sisters you meet, especially because, you know, everyone has heard the word of God. Everyone that I've met says that they're Christians, but their life don't dictate that. Not everyone. Let me take that back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I got carried away there. What I meant to say is that we meet people, and I'm pretty sure you have, that we confess something, but we still in some areas weak. I guess that's the best word I can use. That are weak in some areas. That's why we're here to balance one another, to encourage one another. And how do we do that? By the gifts that we have in our season, in our relationship with God, to be able not to go above people, but go where they're at and help them to come up with you. You see? We never stay here. No, we're to come down just like Jesus did and come and help us to grow together by what? By sharing love and watering that seed in their lives. And that's what ministry is all about. It, exactly what the word means is ministering to one another. Then the world will know that we are the true disciples of Christ by the way we carry ourselves, by the way we prefer one another. And then not only that, that we're honoring God by doing that because that's what God called us to be to love and to carry uh, and to carry each other's weight, to grow together. Amen. As I remember when I got saved, man, a lot of brothers and sisters. I remember that when I went to the altar, man, I, I, I went into this little church called Full Gospel, and I just want to go back to that day. And uh, I was recently down there uh, a couple of years ago, and I, I took pictures, and I was sharing where the place where I kneel for the first time. And I was in the back of the church, and I knew that I had to make a declaration in front of the church, even though I had accepted Christ out in the, by the beach by myself. But I said, I got to go to the house of the Lord, and I got to 
kneel there and ask the Lord uh, and make a declaration that I'm surrendering my life to him at the altar. And I remember that I went up and I, and I got on my knees and, 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 and I was waiting for the minister to stop uh, preaching and I didn't even before he even said the altar call I was up in the front already and I kneel on the floor there and I and I just put my hands on 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 the on the on the floor there and I just started uh, just thanking the Lord for saving me and asking him to continue to work in my life and as I was praying I felt I don't know about 10 or 20 hands one on my Back on this side, one here, one in my neck, one in the top of my, a couple of hands on top of my head. And not just the pastor. Then the pastor came down, kneeled down in front of me, and he put his hand in my forehead. And all the brothers from, sisters from the church got up, man, and they just laid hands on me. And they all prayed for me as I was praying and agreeing with me and asking the Lord to bless my life. And and this is what I'm talking about, the power of unity and love, because this, that is the greatest demonstration of who Christ is when we see these people come together in unity and one mind and one accord, really praying and and even if crying out for me, amen, I never forget that day that I got goosebumps right now. And I remember that they all laid hands on me and prayed for me. Oh, hallelujah. And I'm so grateful for that day, amen. And I've sustained me, has kept me all these years, amen. And I'm just here just sharing the, the same thing with you, my sisters and brothers out there. So again, I said not that I'm perfect, none of us are, but through Christ he makes us gives us strength to overcome our weaknesses. Remember that when we're weak, he makes us strong. But the more we seek after these things, the more we stay uh, renewing our minds, uh, as the Bible says, day and night, and keep walking in love. And that's the greatest thing that we could do, not just repeating the words of the Bible, but doing the word and remembering, as the Bible says, prefer one another, love one another like if it was yourself. Amen. And that is the most important thing that we can do that God is pleased with. And we honor God by doing that in our Lord Jesus Christ. So, again, I came on tonight to just share that with you, my brothers and sisters, and let you know that we're here. And if I can help anyone, no matter where you at or thing, if I can get to you, I'll get to you. Or if not, you can see us on social media. I'll give a shout out. I forgot her name, the girl in the Indiana. Uh, Brent, Brandy? Uh, here, look it up for me. I want to make sure that I pronounce it right now. She's on our Facebook page. My daughter, amen, my spiritual daughter. She's our spiritual daughter now, and I can't remember. I'm sorry, I have a bad thing with names. <laughs> Wasn't it Brittany? No, not Brittany. Uh, oh, Lord. Here, now, look it up. Uh, Hallelujah. We just, he has a family. Amen. See in one of the comments there. Amen. Because I'm alive. Amen. And just sit, share her name. Amen. And then again, uh, you meeting this young man. You know, you never know who comes into your life. Amen. And we're to... Uh, I always say this, people that I meet, that's my ministry. No matter where they're from or, or people that watch us on social media, you're my sister and my brother, amen. And the young people, man, uh, we're here for you. We love you, amen. And uh, we can be your spiritual parents, even though we can be through social media, but that's okay. And in due time, due season, God will bring us together, amen. And I'll give a shout-out to Iris, my other daughter out in Connecticut, amen, that I love and and it's been a, a, such a blessing in my life and her family. Amen. Iris Rivera. Amen. I love you, Iris. And uh, uh, that's my other daughter. Amen. My spiritual daughter. And uh, you found it now? It's there. Just look at the comments. Uh, uh, amen. But it's, again, I say that. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that we love you guys, amen. And we're just here sharing the gospel, the truth, none but the truth to help us, God. And what book do we use is this holy book, amen, that gives us, and I tell people, you don't have to search anymore, it's here. 
The word is here. The answer to every situation in our lives, we can find it in this book. Amen. Give me the phone. Man. It, I, I, it's just look under the the. Um, oh Lord. Hallelujah. I apologize. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. But again, you know, we're here for you. And again, uh, I'm just here sharing the gospel and sharing the love of God. Amen. To all of you, my brothers and sisters out there. Amen. And and if we can help, again, like I said, in anything, you can let us know. You can call us. Our numbers are there. Amen. Uh, let you know also we are on, on, on social media. Amen. And Natasha is going to put the address up. And we're here on Sundays. We have our service at 11. Uh, we pray from 11 to 11.30. We welcome all those to come. And we start our service at 11.30 on social media. Amen. And we just sharing the truth. Amen. And then also we have uh, movie nights that we're going to start doing more. I'm going to do uh, more advertisement uh, on there. We have movie nights that we'll do. And it's for free, of course. We don't charge anything. And we invite you to come out and watch a movie, an inspiring movie that we put on to encourage and to build up everyone. Amen. As we continue to work forward in the things of God here. Amen. Hallelujah. And my daughter, I guess I'll just say my daughter out in Indiana, amen. Uh, we love you, amen. And uh, again, I keep uh, sharing this, that, and I tell everybody. Here it is. How do you pronounce this name? Uh, amen. Mary. Amen, right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Let me just pray. Huh? Bethany? Bethany, what's the last name? I just... Uh, anyway, fine. Uh, Father, we just thank you. I thank you for this opportunity. I want to give a shout out to everybody out there, Lord, and, and uh, Father... Uh, their families, Lord, and Father, everything that we do, Father, is to honor you. And Father, I just give you all the glory and all the praise, Lord. And thanking you, Father, for those that are watching us, Lord. Father, maybe I don't remember everybody's name, but you know them by name. You know them, Father. Lord, I pray for them, Lord, and I ask you to touch them, Lord, in every area of their lives. You know what they need, Lord, and Father, you know Father, as I do, that you fill every need when we come before you, Lord, sincerely and ask you, Father, Lord, to see us through whatever the situation might be, Lord, that is not impossible with you because you love us with a love that never ends, Father. And let us learn to forgive one another and to encourage one another as you love us and forgive us and encourage us every day. Father, with your presence in our lives and its word today. So again, this is Pastor Benny here at Love Wings Ministry Studios in spirit and in truth. And I just want to, again, say this, that if you want to contact with us, our address is up there. Amen. And also, you can contact me, uh, lovewingsministry at gmail.com. Amen. And also, our numbers is up there. So again, from Pastor Benny here and... Love Wings Ministry, we love you guys, and if you can't come visit us, come see us, amen. And I'm waiting for those to come in and share their testimony here with us here on social media, amen, because I believe strongly that our testimony is the most important thing that we have, a tool that we can use to share what God has done in your life and in my life that would touch someone out there. So again, God bless you. And I'll see you on Friday. I will be back on with Love News. Amen. God bless. Amen. God bless you.